Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So we're going to use Madame Glam today. We're going to use Daddy's Girl and Kevin and also um, Angelic Sonata and I will add um, Perfect Black. These are the tips we're going to use today. Um, <clears throat> so this is Kevin. This is a magnetic. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, it's one of my favourites. It's absolutely it's just gorgeous. Really, really nice. So this is like a yeah a Christmas set. So I am gonna have to get this out today because this is Christmas Eve. So yeah. So I'm just gonna go in with the magnet and I'm just gonna magnetize it now. I'm just going around the edges. I'm just waiting for the flare to start. It's absolutely gorgeous. I do love this polish. It's so pretty, and I love this set. I don't know. I don't know. It's something about this set which is just gorgeous. I would most definitely wear this set. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I think it's so pretty. So, so pretty. It's gorgeous. Uh, I just, I'm really happy with it. I don't say that very often, but I am. Right, so um, I will apply the first coat with you and any second coats off camera. Um, uh, Man of Glam Gel Polish is cured for 60 seconds in LED light and two minutes in a UV. Um, I do have a discount code for Madam Glam as well. It will be in the description box. If I remember, I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> um, but there's, it's always down in the description box with a direct link as well, which means it's automatically applied. You just check out as guest or you can sign up for their VIP program as well, which is a really great deal. Um, so I think this is all the colours all done now. Yep, so that's what we've got so far. Absolutely stunning. Oh, we all knew Purple Set was coming. So I'm going to go in with Perfect Black. <coughs> so I'm going to put this on my palette. Give me one second. Sorry about that. So um, I'm putting some on my palette. And then I'm going to go in with a liner brush. And we're going to do some sections. So, um, I can't remember what I do on this one. It may just be just the French. I can't remember. I do different sections. Or is this the half one? I can't remember. I really can't remember. <laughs> My mind is just like, oh, it's all scrambled at the moment. <sighs> but I really wanted to get this set out. So I will have some more wintry sets. Um, and hopefully I can squeeze in couple of new year sets i have got one new year set coming up um but i'm hoping to squeeze in another two hopefully um i mean you could wear this for new year's because yeah it's beautiful i'm really happy with this really happy and everybody that's seen it has said it's it's gorgeous um so yeah <laughs> you have to let me know if you like it as much as uh as i do <laughs> So um, I've filled in some of it with um, with the liner brush and I've taken the brush on the bottle as well. I'm just cleaning up. This has just got a small amount of uh, rubbing alcohol on it. Um, you don't want to make it soaking wet. Um, just dampen the brush with some rubbing alcohol to do your clean up or gel cleanse, whichever one you're using. You don't want to make the brush sopping wet and put it on the nail because otherwise your nail is going to be soaking wet um, and it will just spread it everywhere so yeah to keep control of it just use a dampened one so that is that one there done um and then i think i'm going the other side on this one yeah so you just want to just mark it out and then i'll fill it in a tiny little bit with my with my liner brush, the reason why I use my liner brush first is because if it's not over enough or it's not straight enough, I can build it up slowly with my brush without having to do so much clean up. But I will take the um, brush from the bottle again once I'm sort of kind of satisfied. And then if I need to straighten up anymore, I will use the clean up brush before I cure it. And make sure you're doing thin layers of the black as well because you don't want it to wrinkle on you. Just do thin coats. If you need to do two, it doesn't matter. Um, I didn't need to. Um, so that is that one down there. And then on this one, I'm going to do the top bit. 
Um, we're going to use a uh, we're going to use a foil today, and we're going to do some stamping as well. There's quite a lot of elements to this to this one. They're not complicated. It's just quite a few steps. Um, but I mean, if you haven't got all the stuff that I've used and you want to recreate it, use stickers, whichever whichever way is easier for you. Um, if you do recreate any of my sets, please tag me so I can have a look. So I'm always interested to see whether, you know, how people have changed it or whatever. So always, always tag me or send me a send me a message on um, on Instagram. So I'm, I'm, I love looking at other people's work. I get inspired by so much stuff. Anyway, on this one, we're just going to go just across, like, make, like, a little, like, wavy line type of thing. Nelly has been in my nail room. So, yeah. She knocked stuff off my table. I was like, oh, no. So, yeah. That is why there is, uh, yeah. It's added, there's added cat fur. <laughs> Don't worry, I have got it off. Um, so this one, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use the bottle. I'm just gonna use my uh, detailer brush instead, or liner brush. Um, I'm sorry if you can hear Teddy snoring. He's always snoring whenever, whenever I do a voiceover. And I says that at ten, I'm with Teddy and he's snoring. So anyway, that's that one done there. Uh, what do I do on this one? I can't remember. <clears throat> right, so we're going to do the bottom part on this one. Just thought I'd make it a little bit more interesting. Um, and I will use the brush on the bottle for this one. Just to make it a bit quicker, a bit easier. And then we will move on. So you have to let me know what you think of this one. I do really like it. Um, so, what am I going to do next? Ah, there you go. That's what they look like so far. So I'm going to take some rub nail coat and I rub off all of the nails. To show you me just doing one here. Because we're going to use a foil. I'm just indicating I'm doing all of them. So that's what it looked like with, with the um, tacky layout off. So I'm going to go in with my McCart nail foil glue. Now, as I always say, if you're doing sections like this, just make sure that you're not putting loads on. Make sure it is nice and thin, um, because you don't you don't want it wrinkling. Sometimes you can save it when it wrinkles. It all depends what sort of foil you're using. So I will cover all of the sections in the um, foil glue. So we're going to cover these up with a pretty foil. Give me one second. So we're just going to continue applying the foil glue. And as I said, make sure you don't put it on too thick. If you do accidentally put it on too thick, just take some off. And you only want to cover the black um, because that's where the foil is going to go. So I'm going to go in with the um, magnetic polish again. I do really like this colour. It's, it's just oh, it's beautiful. So I really want, uh, I just, I really wanted this one, this set to be like, definitely me colours. So I definitely had to do, you know, I had to do a purple set. I had to. Um, I've got two more colour combos I want to do, which are a bit different. But if I can pull it off, they're going to look good. <laughs> so you'll have to wait and see um, if I can pull it off or not. <laughs> So I'm just going to magnetise it again. And then this is the four we're going to use. This is from Charlie's. I can't remember what the name is. I can't remember. But it's beautiful. So we're going to cover all of the black bits in the four now. Um, so I'm just going to line it up. It's so pretty. I had to use this four. I was like, I've got to. Oh, it's just oh, it's so pretty. You definitely need to check out Charlie's. I uh, do have a discount code for um, Charlie's Nail Art Supplies as well. Um, there'll be a direct link in the description box as well. And she's got so many different stuff on there. Oh, you should go and have a look. Really affordable prices as well, which is just great. And it's always it's always nice to support a small company as well. 
um so yeah so you just want to just um just rub it um and i'm just slowly peeling it off making sure it's all on there that's why i used the black just in there do i go in and finish off i can't remember no i leave it like that um so i'm going to take the same bit of foil and i'm going to do the other nail because it's big enough to do both nails with which is good so you have to let me know is there a color combo you'd like me to do um yeah just let me know down in the description box if there's a color a particular color combo you want to see you have to let me know down below this foil is it's just so pretty it's gorgeous it's really really pretty it's really easy to use as well it's such a pretty foil and because it's black it's so forgiving as well oh it's so pretty gorgeous so i'm even going to do this bit here i think with yeah <laughs> so that small bit of foil has covered three nails which is always a bonus so yeah so anyway i i use my uh fingers to do my foil but you can use whatever whatever you want you can use a silicone tool um, I've seen people use uh, cuticle pushes as well. Um, you can use a makeup sponge. There's so many different tools that you can use. Um, I just prefer my I prefer to use my fingers just because it's it's easier for me. And you just want to keep just pulling it down, just having a little look, making sure it's how you want it to be. Look at that beautiful. And now I'm going to go in with the black. <laughs> this is the fourth nail I've done with this small bit of foil. <laughs> maybe I'm just maybe I'm just stingy. I don't know. Maybe I didn't want to use too much of it because I liked it so much. <laughs> Who knows? But it is pretty. It's absolutely stunning. You should see this in person. It is oh, it's so pretty. And going with these colours as well. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I'm just going to continue just to rub it and just pull it up slightly just so I can have a little peek. So there you go. Stunning. So now I'm going to go back in with Kevin. So I'll put some on my palette. I'm just loading up my brush here. And I'm going to outline um, the foil now just to incorporate a little bit more of the magnetic polish. So you can make these lines as thin or thick as you want give me one second sorry about that i really had to cough <laughs> i don't want to be coughing down the phone <laughs> um so yeah as i was saying you can make these as thick or as thin as you would like or you could go in with glitter however however you want it to be whatever it's entirely up to you that's the thing about nail art when you see somebody do a set of nails you can always change the colours, you can change the placement, you can change whatever you want. Um, it's all about just being inspired and like, oh yeah, I really like that colour combo. But I would have added this colour or changed this colour out. It's always about, yeah, just putting your own, your own light, your own take on it. And changing a few bits. It's really good. So um, I'm just going to magnetise it. It was a little bit difficult to do, but... Um, because obviously it's quite a thin, quite a thin line. So just play about with it, and then when you're happy, pop it in the light and cure it. I flash cure it for um for ten seconds just to freeze it, just to freeze it obviously in place. Because otherwise, if you leave it too long, the particles will start then separating again, and it won't be the way that you that you want it to be. So it's always best once you're happy with how your magnetic polish looks, make sure you cure it, even if it's just a flash cure, just to freeze it in place. Um, because as I said, if you leave it too long, it's just the particles are just gonna start moving again. So yeah, once you're happy, definitely uh, definitely flash cure it. And if you're using regular polish, um, make sure you hold the magnet on until it's like almost dry because it will it will separate the same as gel polish so yeah so 
the best way that I found to do it with regular polish is to put your finger on your on your magnet while while you put put your magnet to polish on put hold your finger over a magnet and then get a fan and dry it like that so you freeze it in place and that's what I found to be the quickest and and most effective way but anyway <laughs> we're not talking about regular polish we're talking about gel polish going completely off track there so I'm just going to continue adding uh, the magnetic polish because I had to I had to add more of it I just had to because it is just oh it's just stunning I had to add as much as I could where I could I had to I absolutely love this color combo as well it's so nice these polishes look beautiful together as well. You've got the dark, you've got the glittery, you've got the light. Oh, it's gorgeous. Right, so here I'm just top coating just the foil and the magnetic polish because I'm going to go in with some stamping and glitter. And I didn't want it to go all over the um, magnetic polish and the foil. So we're going to use Born Pretty Christmas L009 and opaque black sticky stamping polish from machine modern and we're also going to use purple hollow iridescent sparkling it's probably called something else on the website now because i've had this a couple of years now um so i'm going to go in with santa i do love this plate this plate is gorgeous i don't use it enough i think i need to do another wintry set with it i think it's a gorgeous stamping plate gorgeous i do have a discount code for born pretty as well <laughs> discount codes everywhere it's all about saving you guys money. Wherever I can, I will save you some money. So I'm just going to leave that to sit just for a second just while I go in with the rest of the stamping because I knew what I wanted to do. So um, you do have a window. The, the longer you leave it, the stickier it gets. But if you leave it too long, it's not gonna, the stick's not going to work as well. So just figure out your timing because obviously it depends on how warm your nail room is as well. Or wherever you work in. Um, so yeah. So I'm just going to take this image here. And I'm going to go down down the side. So making it sort of like a complete French. If that makes sense. It's not quite up high enough. So I'm going to flip my stamp around. I still have some of the image on there. And I'm just going to bring it up just a little bit more. Not that you can see. But just to bring it up. Just so it's like even. So on this one, I thought I would stamp this snowflake at the top. I don't think I should have added this one, but I did. Um, so on the other nail, I'm going to go in with the same image and I'm going to flip it. So you just want to put your, put your stamping polish on. Don't use too much. Um, and then just scrape it and pick it up. So we're going to... Do the same kind of thing so we're going to match it up put it on and then i want a bit i want a bit at the bottom so i've still got some of the image left just to yeah to match it up so i'm going to go in with the glitter now and i'm going to put some tip get some out um and then i'm pushing it into the image with my finger around just tapping it in very gently and once i'm satisfied it's all covered i will then slightly buff it small circular motions don't push too hard just a light touch i'm going to leave that to sit there just for a second just because i didn't want to leave the others too long um and i'm just gonna yeah pat it in just pat it very very gently i'm gonna do the bottom part here i think i had another glitter yes i do i had a uh, gold bright so I wanted a bit of gold in this as well. So it just, yeah, it's one of them ones that just tip everywhere. <laughs> but this is why we top coated um, the like magnetic polish in that. Um, just because otherwise the glitter would have got stuck on the foil and it would have got stuck um, on the magnetic polish and I didn't want that. So it's always best to just make sure. So there you go. There's that one there. And then I'm going to go tap a tiny little bit more of the gold out. And I want it more gold at the top, but sort of fading into the purple in the middle. So I will go up first and then go down and then go up a bit more and then go down. 
just to blend them sort of like slightly together so there's not like a real hard separation there you go so that is that one's there and i'm just going to brush them all off now i know that they're all covered so just make sure it's all it's all off and then uh, yeah look at that how stunning is that it's beautiful absolutely stunning if you haven't tried um she modern products you definitely should the sticky stamp and polish just gives you so many different options and it's uh, it's just so good it's so beginner friendly as well i love it i ugh, i use it all the time now but there you go, I thought I'd get a bit closer. Stunning. So now I'm going to go in with the gem placement. So um, I'm going to put, yeah, like a kind of necklace with a snowflake. Give me one second. I was saying, I'm just mapping out where I, where I want it to be. And we're going to use this gorgeous snowflake charm that I got off of Shein. And then I'm going to use these crystals as well so this is nearly at the end you have to let me know your thoughts on this i will have my little end clip thing where there's a close-up and then i'll have some pictures um at the end as well so let me know what you think i think this is gorgeous i most definitely wear this and you can change the colors to whatever you want so as i said i am going to do a couple of different uh color combos hopefully fingers crossed i can get them done um, but if there is one that you would particularly like to see, let me know. And, uh, yep, yeah, I can work on that. Um, I will have some more wintry sets coming up as well. So hopefully I can get in three New Year's and then some winter ones because I do have a couple more that I need to share. So, yeah. So let me know your thoughts down below on this one. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I will top coat um, off camera because it was a bit awkward because I had to go around all these little crystals. But let me know your thoughts down below. I hope you like it and I hope you enjoyed my video today. Um, and yeah, don't, <laughs> don't forget to check out the description box for all like products used and discount codes and everything like that. I had to take the, the snowflake off because it's quite heavy. <laughs> what I should have done was I probably should have put, put the snowflake on first, cured it and then worked worked on this afterwards but I didn't <laughs> I did it back to front but anyway this is this set basically done as I said um I can't remember if I had caviar beads or not I don't think I did um but you can if you want to um so yeah I think this is really really pretty I love how it turned out so yeah, so just let me know any thoughts you have down below and I hope you enjoyed my video today. And as I said, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care. This is the end clip. Gorgeous. Thanks for watching. Bye.